Welcome back. You are watching KTN News Desk. Many thanks for staying with us. Well, even as both parties launch their manifestos, there is uncertainty on the fate of ballot papers, which will be used in the August 8th general election. Chief Justice David Maraga appointed three judges to hear an application challenging the awarding of a ballot printing tender to Dubai-based firm Al Gurair. Chief Justice David Maraga appointed High Court judges Joel Ngogi, George Odunga, and John Mat to hear the case which has been filed by the opposition National Super Alliance. NASA claims that in awarding the tender to Al Greer, the IEBC misapprehended the law and made a fundamentally wrong decision that may prejudice the legitimate expectation of millions of Kenyans for a free, fair and dramatic election. It argues that unless the orders sought to quash the award are granted, the rights of millions of Kenyans to a free and fair electoral process shall be irreparably prejudiced. Let's now speak to our senior reporter, Rita Tinina, joining us live from the High Court. Rita, about an hour ago, we saw the session began, the hearing began. Let, let, let us in on what went down in court earlier on. Well, Akisa, I would say today it was just about, I would call them administrative issues or, if you like, housekeeping matters. Before the three-judge bench, lawyers who were here before the session uh, began had met and had agreed on several issues. First, uh, they chose James Orengo to present what they, they considered their prayers before the judges. They suggested that the applicants, that is the uh, NASA coalition and those who support the argument by NASA, should file their applications by close of business tomorrow tomorrow, that uh, the respondent, this is the IEBC, as well as those uh, in the arguing the same position as the IEBC, then should file their submissions, uh, written submissions by Thursday evening. And the case then can be had uh, on Friday. The IEBC lawyer Fred Ngatia opposed that uh, suggestion by the other lawyers, arguing that this is an urgent uh, case, that the country uh, was anxious about it, and so the case should be had uh, by Thursday. Orengo, in the proposals, had also suggested that the applicants, when the case starts, should be given an hour to argue their case, and the respondents should get an hour as well as, as other respondents, other interested parties in the case uh, allowed 30 minutes. The judges then uh, suggested that they take a short break, about 10 minutes. They retreated uh, to deliberate on the proposals. Initially, they had said that they would not be available on either Thursday or Friday saying that they are sitting on another five-judge bench uh, who, which had set the Thursday and Friday dates earlier on. And so when they retreated, coming back, uh, they sort of uh, gave the prayers, largely the prayers that had been uh, sought by the lawyers, but with a few amendments. They directed that uh, the applicants, the NASA coalition, should file its written submissions by tomorrow midday. The respondents, that is the IEBC and the interested parties supporting the position of the IEBC, should file their written submissions by midnight on Thursday, and the case uh, will begin, the hearing of the case will begin on Friday morning. They have given 45 minutes each to NASA as well as to the respondent, the IEBC on Friday will have 45 minutes to argue their case, and other interested parties uh, will have about 15 minutes uh, to do so. And it was a rather a specific directive. Earlier on when the lawyers were giving their proposals, they argued about how many pages uh, should their submissions be. Some argued 10 pages, 12 pages, 20 pages. The judges, presiding judge Joel Ngugi, giving very specific directives as to uh, the amount of pages that the submissions should be. He said 20 pages, New Times Roman, uh, that font 12 as well as it should be double space. So very clear directives from the court here. Uh, the matter should perhaps have started uh, uh, hearing today, but two issues happened. One of them is that there was a party seeking to be enjoined as an interested party, and that is Stephen Owoko. And all the other lawyers were agreed that he needs uh, to be given an opportunity uh, for a fair and uh, just hearing of the case. But uh, it appears many other uh, parties were also not prepared some had not filed their submissions, while others had not uh, served the other respondents uh, with their written submissions. Akisa. Update.